on you guys it's your man james aka jp back again finally 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 we are here with a toy room tour what a month are we in this is for april april 2023 now this tour has taken me a very very long time to get to just because uh this might be one of the most like involved uh preparations i guess i, I moved a lot of things around i have a bunch of new displays um, I think everything behind me is pretty much the same, but as we get to this side of the room behind me, I have this big Pokemon display that I set up, uh, some new CRT TVs in here, a lot of a lot of things that got moved around. I condensed some things, I got rid of, uh, I don't want to say a lot of things, but I did get rid of some things, and um, it, it was just a lot of stuff to do, and then as that finally got done, toys decided to fall over from the shelf so like one thing fell from back here knocked everything over it, it, it was a mess this has been easily two months of trying to prepare this room for a new room tour and um now we're finally here so sit back this is gonna be a long video i can already tell you guys it's probably like 40 minutes to an hour long uh sit back grab some snacks if you guys stay with me to the end of the video i appreciate you make sure you like the video comment on the video subscribe if you're new hit the notification bell so that this way this video can get out to as many people as possible and i can show off my room with all the amazing people uh that come visit my channel so without further ado man let's go ahead and get into the toy room tour for april 2024 And here we are. So I'm just going to turn on my external lighting. There we go. Just to help a little bit with the lighting on this side because this ceiling fan does kind of tend to cast a shadow on everything over this way. So this light will help us out quite a bit. So starting as always right here at the entrance, we have my Back to the Future hoverboard wooden display sign. Then on this side, we just got some random things hanging on the wall here. Nothing new, but if you guys are new to the channel, I'll just breeze past it really quickly. And we have my Avatar The Last Airbender calendar right over here and then right above the door we have my Link's awakening poster and this is new um not new to me but i dug it out of storage in my collection and that is literally a jeffrey the giraffe bib so toys r us bib like a, a baby <laughs> a bib so i hung it up there just to fill up that little hole there and it kind of coincides with the toys r us shopping bag right over there and that leads us to my kingdom hearts 3 poster and then a chair and step stool uh just to have easy access to if i ever need uh an extra chair or just a step stool to reach high places moving back over this way we'll start from the top go across and then work our way through each shelf so right up here this is my fast and the furious collection so a lot of little things here we have the newly and i'll move the lighting there kind of make it maybe a little bit easier to see there we go so that is the too fast too furious lego set this is the toretto house from uh the jada toys hollywood nano rides and then all of my other fast and the furious die cast cars i have pretty much essentially everybody or every car i should say that i would want to get from the franchise as you guys can see as we quickly pan through this and I do have my CRT on currently, so if you guys hear that like high-pitched noise from a CRT in the background, that is what it is. And moving on from the Fast and Furious collection, we just have these random uh, Ninja Turtle party wagons. I don't know why I have so many of them. This is actually a DVD set. This is the party wagon. This is a paper version of it. And then this is a box that a t-shirt came in from Funko. And then continuing on on this top shelf, it's just kind of random things that didn't really have like a home or a, a proper spot for me to put anything. So they just ended up here and then I do have the Fast and the Furious board game, obviously to coincide with the rest of the Fast and the Furious stuff. And then my hoverboard from Back to the Future. And behind that we have my Smash poster. I do desperately need to get an updated one that has every single character and I'll kind of bring the light in a little bit there. But yeah, I, I do need to get an updated one. This is far from updated because it added so many more characters since I purchased that one and then random comics and a couple other little figures right there 
So then moving back over this way, this is going to be my back to the future shelf as well as Jurassic Park, Toys R Us slash Target, and then my two like 80 shelves over there. So starting with Back to the Future, I don't think too much has changed here, although um, I did add this kind of diorama set. So this is a knockoff Lego set, and this thing was really cool. I did a whole review on this if you guys are interested on it, but it, it's really awesome. It goes through literally like all the three movies and one like diorama piece. So I think that is really, really cool. One of my favorite sets and kind of inexpensive for what it is. Uh, and then we just have some Funko Pops here, obviously. And then the NECA figures, which I love all of these. The detail on these guys is just absolutely crazy. And I don't know why NECA kind of stopped making Back to the Future figures. I need them to continue on because I need more of these in my life. I cannot get enough of these. And this is a new head that I got with the NECA accessory pack. So it's uh, it's actually the same head sculpt, but it comes with this little um, mind reading gadget from the movie there. And then it also comes with Einstein. And you can see in the background just some of my Back to the Future uh, cups from Universal Studios, as well as, I don't know how well you can see it, but the clock tower is kind of peeking out back there. And then a couple more figures hiding there in the back as well as my Tales from Space comic book replica with a Back to the Future Funko board game behind that. And then we have the iconic picture from the movie. I don't know if it's coming out on camera, but the different angles you look at it, Marty's uh, siblings appear and disappear, which is very nice. And then we have some more uh, cups from Universal Studios kind of peeking out right back there. And oh, another thing that's new from that accessory pack, I don't know if you guys can really see, but you have the air mags and the kind of little shoe clothes container. I like what NECA did since obviously they don't want to use the licensing rights for Nike. They just put NECA and put a check mark. So that's pretty cool. So then moving on from that shelf, we continue on to my other Back to the Future shelf. And this is primarily my vehicle shelf, as you can see. So it's mostly, you know, all the different versions of the DeLorean as well as the pickup truck from the movie and just other like little accessories and whatnot. Ready Player One figures since they are, that's kind of related to Back to the Future. And then just other, like just little random, you know, Back to the Future stuff there. So, really cool stuff. And this license plate is new as well from the NECA accessory pack. And I, I always forget to turn this TV on, but this little gadget is really cool. This actually plays scenes from the movie. I did a whole review on this if you guys want to check that out. But I have a Back to the Future one, and I also have one for Jurassic Park, which leads us right to our next shelf. So like I said, this TV also plays scenes from the movie. I just always forget to turn it on. Uh, let's see. This one's easily accessible. Let me see if I can get it to turn on. Batteries actually might be dead on it. It's been a while since I turned it on. All right, well, that is what it is. Anyways, moving on to the rest of the shelf. So obviously we have all of the different vehicles from uh, Jurassic Park. So we have the Ford Explorer right here, which is still one of my favorite movie cars of all time. And then of course we have the Jurassic Park Jeep and then different variations of the Jurassic Park Jeep right there. And then I have a Barbasol, but not just any Barbasol. This is actually a collab with uh, Jurassic World. So that is really cool. So, oh, 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 oh man, that was almost bad. So drop the TV and I'll fix that later. Uh, we have this John Hammond Funko Pop and then my Jurassic Park shoes that I did a review on uh, a couple years ago at this point. So this is really cool. The shoe box is made to look like the old Kenner uh, toy boxes. So that's really awesome. And then Jurassic Park VHSs kind of poking out back there. And I think the soundtrack is back there as well for the original movie. And then we have the Gates here that is a Funko Pop that came in a two-pack with John Hammond. So moving on from Jurassic Park, we have my Target slash Toys R Us shelf. If you guys are new to the channel or just don't know, Toys R Us and Target, two big important parts of my life. Toys R Us was the first job that I ever had. It's the reason why I got into toy collecting. Everything you see in this room is due to me having that job at Toys R Us. When I got hired at Toys R Us, I just needed a job. I wasn't into toys, but working there got me into toys and then eventually led to all of this. So that's why I have a, uh, a Toys R Us shelf. And then I also have a Target shelf because I currently work at Target as like a, a side job. So, um, you know, Target plays a, a little bit part of my life as well, but doesn't mean as much to me as Toys R Us does. But I feel like Target and the, the way Target is in pop culture right now is the closest thing we'll get to Toys R Us. Even though Toys R Us is making a comeback. But anyways, you can see just different little Target and Toys R Us promotional items. And my one of my name tags from Target. And yeah, just other random little like things. Got the Toys R Us board game right there. Some plushes, some Funko Pops, some really cool pins as well. So yeah, really, really cool. I really like this shelf. I'm starting to run out of space on it though. I, I need to expand this shelf in the future as I pick up more stuff. And then this is my 80 shelf, literally unchanged. So if you guys have 
seen this before. It's not really anything new, but I'll pan through it real quickly. So we have some some Rocky, some Ghostbusters, Rambo, um, and yeah, just a bunch of random uh, Robocop and just other VHSs back there just to kind of add a little bit of a backdrop. And that kind of continues on this way. This is my NECA shelf of just like random stuff. So it's mostly Gremlins. And again, this is unchanged as well. But uh, I don't know, I'm kind of like getting over this shelf. I, I want to change it to something else. I'm just not sure what. And honestly, I don't really care for these figures on here like I used to. So I don't know, I think in my next room tour, this shelf might be going somewhere. But for the time being, it's still staying. But maybe I'll expand the Toys R Us shelf and, you know, drop the 80 shelf down or something. I don't know, but I, I was never a big fan of this shelf. It's just kind of a placeholder for the time being. Now, moving over to one of my favorite shelves, if not my favorite shelf in the entire room, and that is my Avatar The Last Airbender Funko Pop collection uh, that takes up the first two shelves. I have pretty much every single Avatar Funko Pop ever released, except for like the super exclusive ones that you can only get by doing like NFTs and all that. But other than that, every release that you can get your hands on, I pretty much have it. Like every variant, I might be missing like one or two at the moment, but yeah, I think I have almost everything. So really big fan of the way this shelf came out just it just looks amazing the way that i have all the layers and stuff just every time i look at this shelf i fall more and more in love with it and coming down to this shelf here it's going to be the same thing but these are just all of the villains essentially all of the fire nation so all that right there with some other just little random avatar stuff in the background uh that i didn't really have a spot for so they filled up these shelves here and we have my blu-ray box sets as well and the Legend of Korra poking out right behind it, and this dice set. So, man, yeah, Avatar. Really, really love Avatar. It's my favorite show of all time. And then we have more Avatar stuff right here, which this shelf was a pain because all of these guys all fell over on me, and I had to redo this entire shelf. But now everything is standing up, at least for the time being. Kind of move the light in and out. It's like overexposed at one angle and then underexposed at the under other angle, but... There you go, and then some stuff back there. Yeah, so love me Avatar. These I don't care for as much as I do these. The, the pops look so great because they're all uniform, they're all one design. These are literally like a whole bunch of different, there's like Diamond Select, McFarlane, I mean Loyal Subjects, and yeah, it's just a hodgepodge of all these different figures. So I, I don't know, I love Avatar. I'm not the biggest fan of how this shelf looks at the moment, but it is what it is. Then moving down to my Star Wars shelf. Oh, and, and this was the worst part because these guys fell over. It was Ozai in the back that fell over knocked everything over everything fell forward and knocked all of these guys over and knocked like some of these guys over so it it, it was very annoying uh fixing this all before making this video but anyways here is my star wars shelf nothing new um but just panning through it you can see all of my different stormtroopers and clone troopers here on this shelf so just a random assortment of stuff as you can see, and then that brings us down to our heroes and villains. These are like the main heroes and villains. So all the more important, bigger characters, as you can see, just kind of panning through all of this. And yeah, really, really big fan of this. I'm just glad that I stopped collecting Black Series because it, it got ridiculous over the years. I, I was there since day one collecting Black Series and I probably got out of it five years or so ago and I'm so glad that I did. And then moving down here, this is more Black Series, but this is just like lesser known, unimportant characters or like duplicate figures. Like I got two Darth Vader's here and one up here. So yeah, this is just kind of like the unimportant shelf right down here, as you can see. Just a bunch of random assortment of characters. So moving on from there, that's going to bring us to the turtle shelf. So here it is, pretty much unchanged, I think. In the last room tour, honestly, I'm not sure. Uh, it's, it's so hard to, oh no, I, I think these four guys from Secret of the Ooze might be new. Um, other than that, I think everything else is the same, but like, honestly, I have no idea at this point, but there you go. So turtle shelf right here. So these are basically all the heroes up here. And then the next two shelves are going to be pretty much all the villains with maybe a couple heroes mixed in here and there, just cause I ran out of space. But here are the turtles. So, I don't know, I think I'm at the point right now where I'm done collecting NECA Turtle stuff. Just because, man, what they did with uh, the Target Holothon, they released so many figures all at once, and I found them all at the exact same time. 
and I just I had to pass it was way too much money to spend on all these figures it was gonna be like four or five hundred dollars and I skipped on them and that's the first time I've skipped on NECA turtles in a long time and I, I don't know I kind of feel good about it like that I'm just getting out of it it was one of the main lines that I collected for as you can see but Man, it was just getting to be too much, and it was starting to take up literally, as you can see, that's three shelves worth of, of turtles here. And if I would have kept collecting, it would have leaked into like a fourth or fifth shelf. And I think it would just, it would have been like turtles takeover in the room, and turtles is obviously not the only thing that I'm into. So I don't know if I'm fully done with the line, but I'm not picking up every single release like I was. So maybe I'll pick and choose here and there. Anyways, uh, continuing on, the hot topic right now on the internet, Mario, and here is my World of Nintendo Super Mario shelf. I absolutely loved the movie. I cannot wait to go see it again. Uh, the movie was just phenomenal. But here is all of my Mario figures. This is everybody pretty much from like the main Mario franchise, as you can see here. And then as we drop to the shelf underneath that, this is pretty much every other Nintendo character. It's kind of like my Super Smash Brothers shelf, essentially. So just every other Nintendo property, smash poster right there and i did include my kingdom hearts figures here since they are technically canon to smash now so i figured you know what why not i needed somewhere to put them and that was kind of like the perfect spot to put them and then dropping down from there oh man I, these figures i don't know these are all just like little random figurines that never stand up as you can see they just continually fall over um but it's just like a mixture of like 90s uh i think it's all 90s maybe a couple early 80s stuff and um, yeah, just random stuff. And actually looking at this small soldier's figure, I need to move him over this shelf because I have a small soldier's figure here. So I'll do that off camera. But anyways, um, yeah, that's the shelf always falling over, just full of random little knickknacks that I had no space for. And then moving over from there, that's going to bring us to my Power Rangers shelf, which um, actually did change around quite a bit, I think. I, I condensed some shelves and, and put some shelves together to, to make it make more sense. So before, I had every shelf filled with Power Rangers, but like the bottom shelf had maybe like 10 figures on it, and so did this one, and it just didn't make any sense. I was kind of just taking up space, so you'll see as we go along. So this is pretty much unchanged. Yeah, this is unchanged from the last time. So again, I'll just quick pan through it, just all the different Power Rangers figures that I have here. So there are those guys, and then this is the movie shelf. I might have a couple added figures in here, and I did add the VHS as kind of like a backdrop, and the morpher, the movie morpher as well. But other than that, everything else is unchanged. Might be just a couple things moved around, but not actually like anything new on here that I can see. So there is that. And then my Red Ranger shelf, I think the only thing that's new on here, if it wasn't on here last time, is um, the custom figure that I got of myself, as you can see. Um, other than that, everything else is exactly the same on my Forever Red shelf. And then coming down, this is one of the shelves that changed. So um, I don't even remember what I had here, but I pretty much condensed it and put every single Ranger on this shelf. I think before this shelf was just uh, other Rangers. So other Rangers that weren't red and that weren't six Rangers. And then I had all the six Rangers on their own shelf, but I figured that was kind of just pointless and a waste of space. So now I have pretty much every Ranger that's not a Red Ranger or a Mighty Morphin. They are on this shelf. And then I have a bunch of VHSs as a, a little backdrop right there and man look at the the titanium ranger is that the titanium ranger no i don't know silver and space ranger i don't know i don't think he's titanium i think he's just a silver and space ranger but either way probably one of the top three in my collection i think as far as power rangers top three power rangers figures right there and dropping down to the villain shelf uh this was always the villain shelf so that pretty much stayed the same so I just arranged them a little bit differently, I think. And then dropping down, I'm unsure about this shelf. I knew that I wanted to do like a McDonald's type of shelf with Happy Meal stuff. And that's what I did here. I don't like the location of it because it's so low. It's kind of hard to see everything. And obviously like I don't really have too much on here, but you can see I do have like some old McDonald's Happy Meal bags, this Happy Meal box, and then a, kind of a couple uh, Burger King Happy Meal stuff and McDonald's Happy Meal stuff. So just random things throughout the year. So I, I don't know, I, I want a full fledged like McDonald's Happy Meal collection shelf, but I, this is everything I have right now. So I need to expand on that collection. And then as I expand, maybe move this shelf somewhere else where you can see it visibly more because with all these bottom shelves, 
standing up here it's kind of hard to make out what everything is so moving over this way uh nothing's changed up here just some random black series stuff up there and then all of my power rangers megazords so we got titanus there the ninja megazord and the thunder megazord over here uh all my black and gold megazords so the og mighty morphin black and gold as well as the legacy edition and the legacy dragon zord with uh this alpha 5 and then these are kind of just the rest of my other megazords that are in a smaller scale so just random different zords right there which that's a brand new shelf and then this is a new shelf as well i used to have these pops on separate shelves but i figured that was a waste of space so i put them on the same shelf together with this uh, black ranger imagine x figure that i picked up at the thrift store and then my red ranger helmet that pretty much is the same thing it just it just dropped the shelf and moved locations and that is everything on this wall so now that we got a majority of th this is always the longest side of the room now that we're here the rest of the room is going to be a breeze so let's go ahead and start right over here all right moving on to this side of the room we have my giant pinocchio poster and then all of my cars die cast from the movie cars so cars die cast cars if you will let me just move the light kind of out of the way so you can see it a little bit better but yeah these are just all random pixar cars stuff that i have and then this michael jackson i'll bring the light back in this michael jackson sh figure arts that i just i don't know i had no place to put it and that just felt like a decent place uh these are all of my kind of slip cover vhs's if you will so uh they fit perfectly on the shelf i took those little mini arcades that i used to have here i took them off they kind of just were taking up space i didn't really use them or need them so i gave those to my nephew uh, we have my oculus quest here this is the version one and i don't know why like the dust that collects in this room kind of got onto the headband and left it with like this white chalky finish to it i don't really know why but that just lets you know that i don't use this quite as much as i should we have my old blockbuster membership card this is literally mine well my dad's basically but he had it for you know for me when i was a child so i'm not going to turn it around because it has his information on here which is still actually the address and everything is current but blockbuster membership card and a uh, sharp tv remote for obviously my sharp crt tv now i i didn't get rid of my samsung gx but i did take it out of here for now and replaced it with the sharp tv i just think the sharp tv you know it's much bigger um i don't know the size of this but it's much bigger um and you know it's just nice having from any angle of the room, I can just look at and, and see clearly what I'm watching. With the Samsung GX, it had such a small screen that it didn't really make sense to have it, you know, taking up that whole space. So now I got this big CRT here. Doesn't sound or look quite as great as the Samsung GX, but the fact that it's much, much bigger, this is a huge CRT. I, I don't know, to give you guys reference, like, that's my hand and that's still the whole CRT. Anyways, uh, moving on, we have this black light poster of Doctor Strange in Funko form. And then my NFL street football and my Pixar basketball inside of a basketball trash can. And this is my Xbox Series X um, mini fridge here that I don't really use. It's just kind of for display. And I don't really know where to put it right now since I used to have it up here. But the CRT just takes up all the space. So for now, it's just going down there. And then moving on, these are all of my handhelds that I have. You will see some of them are missing that are normally here and they're on display on another shelf in the room, which we'll get to in a little bit. But yeah, there are all of my handhelds. And then we have my Sega Genesis Model 1, my VCR and a couple Xboxes, an Atari 2600 and a random N64 just kind of chilling right there. So moving on from there, that is going to bring us to this shelf, which is, um, this is not like a, a finished product right here. I just kind of threw these cars up there because I needed somewhere to put the cars and I don't have anywhere or anything I should say to put up on the shelf on display yet. But there is my Lego Back to the Future DeLorean, my Playmobil DeLorean, my Lego Fiat, and just a bunch of other Fiats in my collection. And then moving on, like I said, this, this isn't permanent, but for the time being, it's what it's gonna be until I figure out what to put up there. Moving on from there, we have my arcade one-ups. So Pac-Man 40th anniversary, uh, OG Street Fighter, and Wave 2 Final Fight. And um, yeah, not much to say about these. You guys have seen these 100 times before. And then here are some of my Game Boy games, or pretty much all of my Game Boy games. So Game Boy, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and DS and 3DS. 
Pac-Man Tamagotchi, Star Wars Tamagotchi, um, controller here to control my light bars that I have right back there. And uh, I forgot what these were called. I think Pixel Pals, so Akuma, Chun-Li, PS4 pen, just randomly chilling over here. Uh, my Arcade 1UP bandana that I got when I went to an Arcade 1UP event down here in Miami. And um, also this little like promotional piece from Arcade 1UP from that same event. Uh, JBL Pulse 3 Bluetooth speaker just on because I like the ambiance and the vibe of it. And uh, some random Hot Wheels that are Gran Turismo. Let me just move the light kind of out of the way. So Gran Turismo Hot Wheels. So as you can see right over there. And then that brings us to the video game collection. This is every single video game in my collection. Well, probably like 80% of it. And then I have like another 20% over there because I maxed this one out and ran out of space on it. But I'm not obviously not gonna go through every single video game because we would be here all day, but I will kind of pan through it. But before I do that, I forgot about all these Nintendo products right up here. So just random, random stuff, a couple figures, some posters, some box games. Uh, Target promotional like shopping bag with Kirby and then again, uh, we'll go through my collection Real quick. I'm trying to find the right lighting situation. That might be it right there But there's NES Super Nintendo more Super Nintendo and Genesis N64 And more N64 GameCube and then Wii, my Wii collection has actually got pretty big in the last like year or so. I, I have a lot more Wii games than I anticipated. I would love, like, I, I don't think I'll actually do it, but I would love to have like a complete Wii collection. Just having all those white spines, just look how that like sticks out compared to everything else on this display. Having those white spines would actually be pretty cool in my opinion. Um, anyways, moving on from Wii, it goes to Wii U. And then here I have DS, 3DS, uh, PS1 and uh big box switch stuff and then more switch stuff and psp and ps2 ps3 and ps4 down there like i said i'm not gonna get a close-up of every single game because we'll be here all day this is kind of like my to-do pile so i'm actually that's for a friend and this is stuff that i need to find a home for that i just don't have a home for right this moment and from there um that's gonna move us over here but actually, before we go over here, let me bring you guys over here to the center of the room. Here are my two movie-style recliner things. Um, they're still holding up great. I got these like two, no, I got these like three, three, four years ago, something like that. Um, it's a little weird because this is the one that I use all the time. I do not use that one at all. And for whatever reason, this one's like deteriorating. As you can see, like the fake leather is kind of coming off on the armrest. Uh, like the entire way through and like I said, it's weird because I don't ever use this one I use this one all the time and this one still looks like it's in perfect shape. So very strange I don't know. Anyways, that's that there's my Aladdin rug a lot of you guys always ask me where I got this from I got it from Target like two years ago, and they stopped selling it So I don't know where you can get this but I'm glad that I have the magic carpet rug because it's impossible to find right now uh, random little coffee table with a bunch of like coasters, video game promotional, uh, like material, reading material, random books and strategy guides, my glass Monopoly set, this is a special edition that I found at the thrift store, some PS5 controllers, all the controllers for the TVs and stuff all over the room, and that's going to bring us back over this way. So, this is my Kobe Bryant jersey. My Fresh Prince uh, air freshener and my random Dikembe Mutombo starting lineup figure. Or no, that's a headliners figure. And then here is my VHS collection. So this is about, I don't know, 120 VHS tapes or something like that. Which is wild because it doesn't look like it when it's on the shelf. And I actually had an accident here a couple weeks ago. Maybe like a month ago at this point. So I was... I, I wanted to move these VHS's onto this shelf. And I had them, you know... I had them set up the way that they are here with the facing up with the spines, but they didn't all fit. So I put them laying like flat like this, right? And I, I stacked them from there to up here. Long story short, it was too much weight for the shelf. The shelf ended up collapsing. All the VHS tapes came crashing down. Luckily, nothing in the collection was broken, but I had to get my buddy here to help me like re-anchor the shelf to the wall and ultimately just left my VHS tapes here. But uh, I think that would have looked good up there. I just have way too many for that space. And I, I would like to put something else here 
and you'll see over here I completely changed that one over there. But anyways, uh, I digress. Moving on, I have this random little like R2 droid over there and we'll start up here. So this is all of my Michael Jordan Funko Pops as well as other random like celebrities, musicians. Uh, let's see if I can get over here without falling over. Yeah, just mostly Michael Jordan, but it does lead into some other athletes as well as uh, Mighty Ducks movie figures. And uh, here are the musicians over here as well as the Biggie album Funko Pops right there. So I have all three of the Biggie albums, Life After Death, Ready to Die, and Born Again. And recently acquired the new DMX pop there. And I had to put him next to Aaliyah. Obviously, it's only fitting that I do that. So moving on from there, we're gonna go back over here, and this is my Pixar shelf. So all of my Alien Remix figures, and uh, just other random Pixar and Toy Story stuff, newly acquired uh, Toy Story Tamagotchi, and the world's smallest Slinky Dog, and uh, yeah, just other random Pixar stuff. I don't think anything is new or changed here, so I'll just kind of breeze through it so you guys can see. And there you go. And then along the wall, I just have randomly some Fiat Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars because I don't know, I had no other space to put them. And my NBA 2K20 promotional poster from GameStop. Now I'm gonna get to this shelf in a second because it's the, I think, most switched up and changed up thing in the room. But I gotta go over the command center with you guys. So here is my, uh, I think this is a 55 inch uh, Sony OLED TV. And obviously I have all the LED lighting behind everything on this side of the room. But yeah, Sony 55 inch uh, OLED TV. I mean, it's just absolutely stunning and beautiful. I just have some Gran Turismo 7 playing in the background right now on my PS5. And then also next to the PS5, we have some controllers right over there. And then I have my original NES down there with the Lego NES TV as well as the Lego NES uh, you know, Mario and controller. And right over here, we have some horrible wiring in the background as well as my Super Nintendo. Uh, then on this shelf, we have uh, two GameCubes. So I have the Indigo one with the TV and the Game Boy Player adapter. And then we have just a standard black one. And then I have a white Wii, a black Wii, and a red Wii Mini. Uh, original Xbox here with, again, more just atrocious wires. But listen, cut the lights off, you never see it. So yeah, I don't ever see the wiring until I do these videos. Uh, then over here, OG PS2, Fat PS3 with uh, the backwards compatibility, uh, PS4 Pro Spider-Man Edition, Mario uh, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One and Xbox One X, and then some random Halo figures. I do have my other Switch in here. Uh, it's like my day one edition of the Switch. And then I have um, I have a couple more Switches. Switch Lite over here, as you can see. And I have another Switch Lite somewhere else in the house. One thing I did forget to mention is that uh, I have smart bulbs in the ceiling fan, and that way I can just change the whole mood of the room. So right now, obviously, I have it nice and bright so we can get a full uh, visual of how everything looks. But at a moment's notice, I can just flip a Switch on my phone and then change the whole color of the room blue red purple whatever I'm feeling and just really just change the whole ambiance and mood of the room I also have a black light as well uh, obviously for all the black light posters and Funko Pops that I have and that just completely changes the whole room of uh, vibe and kind of gives it like an or true like arcade bowling alley type of feel just the way that the the glow happens off of all the figures especially all the glow in the dark Funko Pops you can really see just the glow on it and and um, it actually helps charge up the glow on the Funko Pops a lot quicker. Uh, for some reason, black lights like instantly make the figures glow. And then, uh, yeah, that just, like I said, just a, a whole retro throwback feel if I put the black light in the room, uh, which is just absolutely phenomenal. And just, I, I love how at a moment's notice, I can just change the whole ambiance of the room just by some simple mood lighting. Um, anyways, moving over here. So this is the biggest change to the entire room as this whole display is brand new. I moved a whole bunch of things around. So I just been in a really big like Pokemon mood lately as I just ran into my Marvel's Capcom 2 arcade. Uh, I've been in a really big Pokemon mood lately. So I used to have all these Funko Pops all here. I had this shelf reserved for my Pokemon Funko Pops, but, and let me just zoom out. 
Um, I was kind of future proofing because eventually they're going to release all 150 Gen 1 Pokemon and I plan to get them all. So I figured let me just put them on this shelf. But the shelf was empty. I, you see there's not a lot of Funko Pops right now at the moment. So it just it felt like wasted space. So what I did was move all of the Pokemon stuff right over this way. And I just love the way that this came out. I mean just having this display here. Having the VHS's behind it in the background is like a cool little backdrop i just think this came out looking amazing so we got that one right there and then that leads us to this one right over here and i just have some other random like a pokemon stationary set uh the pokemon the first movie soundtrack appropriately with mew and mewtwo right there uh this giant pikachu card and i think i have a couple more cards over there but yeah there are all of my pokemon funko pops now yesterday I got a holy grail in my collection and it's a very long story I don't think I'm gonna tell the whole story here but here it is the Pokemon N64 console holy grail in my collection uh, it was $300 however I got it for free because I was uh, at my local toy store and I was there to sell a bunch of stuff and I got $350 uh, either cash or credit whichever I wanted um, I got $350 back and this was $300 and I said you know what I'm getting that like I came here to sell some stuff to make some money but I'm not going to pass up on the opportunity to own quite possibly the coolest N64 of all time so there is that and then I bought a whole bunch of these vintage uh, Pokemon action figures. Uh, I would say I had maybe like 10 or so of these but yeah most of these that you're all seeing here it's uh, it's all new that I also got from uh, that same toy store. So I had a pretty big Pokemon um, haul yesterday and I just decided to make a whole new display with uh, with the stuff that I got. So yeah, and then I, I finally booted this back up. This is a Devoom. This is a Bluetooth speaker that has this like cool mechanical keyboard in here as well as it's pixelated. It tells you the time and everything like that. It has different artwork that you can, you know, change and everything. So there you go. So uh, I decided to boot this back up and put it on display on the shelf for the time being. Uh, but yeah, there is my brand new Pokemon display. I am so happy with this. Um, this is going to get moved and the Pokeball will be here, obviously. I just have this here for the video, but I'm going to move that. The Pokeball will be here so that way you can see the N64 in all of its glory. But just for the video, I wanted to uh, put this on display right here. But yeah, really, really big fan of just all of this Pokemon display. I've been, like I said, I've been in a really big Pokemon mood lately between that display. I got Pokemon VHS playing there in the background. And um, yeah, just the way that this came out, I mean, it's just, it's beautiful. Uh, moving on, I have a Sega display that I did as well. So this is the Lego uh, Sonic Green Hill Zone uh, Lego set. And then just other random Sonic figures and display pieces and uh, Sega Dreamcast back there. I was gonna put the Genesis, but the Genesis doesn't stand up on his own But I do have the uh, mini Genesis right over here and um, Oh uh, speaking of mini I also forgot to mention um, My mini consoles so mini Genesis model 1 and 2 Super Nintendo NES and PS1 mini or classic consoles and they are all hacked and have the entire library of games on them Which is just awesome um, Where was I okay? So over here and then moving back over this way, we have my PS1 shrine as well. So not as much cool stuff. I do have this sealed, uh, I mean the seal is kind of ripped, but I mean it's still sealed. And that's that uh, PS1 multi-tap. So I got that the other day, and uh, just a couple other you know, random PS1 or PlayStation figures and consoles and boxes. So yeah, there is that. So this is currently, I, I know like I said Avatar is my favorite shelf and it, it still is, but just like currently at the moment because this is new, like I'm just digging this and this is probably at the moment my favorite shelf. I mean, I got a holy grail Pikachu Nintendo 64 in my collection. Like that's wild. Okay, so I never thought that would happen. Anyways, swinging around over here and now we're in the final section of the room. So moving on to the final section of the room, that's gonna bring us back to this corner again. And we have some Star Wars movie posters right up here, as well as some just random video game controllers that I have on display. This is uh, like a little board from Ikea, another gaming board. So you can put a lot of things, you can put basically anything you want on here. I just opted to put a bunch of controllers. And then that brings us to my Space Jam collection. So these are all of my Space Jam Funko Pops. I'm gonna kind of get the light out of the way a little bit. 
So yeah, just random Space Jam Funko Pops, Space Jam VHS, as well as the movie soundtrack that's kind of, you can kind of see it right over there. And uh, Jordan uh, Aqua 8 um, retro card. And then moving on from there, uh, continuation of my video game collection. So this is all original Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and some random Genesis and PC games. And then these are my CDs, like actual music CDs, albums, if you will. I know that's kind of foreign nowadays, but there you go. And then uh, my Hot Wheels collection. Uh, I'm not gonna sit here and go through every single Hot Wheel because I have a lot of them. I don't even know how many I have at this point, but yeah, Hot Wheels collection. I have them arranged by the colors of the rainbow, as you can see. So yeah, all Hot Wheels. And then that brings us down to my Blu-rays, Blu-rays, DVDs, all over there. And that, Leads us right over here. So this is my Marvel vs. Capcom 2 Arcade 1-Up Arcade Cabinet. My favorite arcade in my whole collection at the moment. Hence why it has its own like dedicated spot because it's so beautiful. Uh, it just, it deserved its own little shrine and the artwork is just amazing. Uh, moving on, uh, I have this uh, Pac-Man little light display here that uh, does a good job of hiding uh, my mess of wires and extension cords back there. So when you look at it from the front, all you see is Pac-Man and you don't see the mess of stuff. We have another black light poster. This is a Spider-Man one. And then that brings us up here to my um, random assortment of pops. It's like half Marvel, half Star Wars, and then just half other stuff. So uh, yeah, just a quick pan through that. And then in the background, you can probably see some Power Rangers uh, legacy stuff, like the morphers and... Uh, Saba and the Power Blaster all just kind of hidden back there because I had nowhere else to put them at the moment. And then, like I said, just a random assortment of Funko Pops all up here. And then the giant uh, Funko Pop of the thing from Fantastic Four. And my Hot Wheels Premium cars that just fit ever so perfectly on this little column in the room. So there we go. Uh, this random Toys R Us uh, reusable bag, and then PS Vita, little promotional material, and uh, a Mattel. Uh, this is actually a blade, like, that you would just cut a box open with, as you can see. I found this at Target one day, so one of the Mattel reps must have left that behind. And, oh man, that is, that is the room, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I know this video was kind of long. But there's a lot of things to go over, a lot of new things, new setups uh, to go over. So if you guys stuck around this long, man, I really appreciate All you. Alright you guys, so we made it. That is the end of the room tour. Like I said before, if you guys stayed around this long, I really, really appreciate it. You guys have no idea how much that means to me. Uh, leave a comment down below. What do you think about my room? What's your favorite part of the room? Uh, just anything about the room. I love hearing your guys' feedback. I love sharing this room with you. Um, I just I, I take so much pride in, in setting this room up and getting it to the level of, of just awesomeness that it's at that I, I just love every time you guys give me feedback and tell me how much you guys love the room. So um, I think that's it. Like I said before, like, comment, subscribe, hit notification bell, all that stuff. Um, but I am exhausted. This was a long video. So I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. So as always, guys, make sure you follow me on Instagram. That link's in the description down below. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. And I'll see you guys next time.